Welcome to Montclair Channel 34's Senior of the Month program. Today we are recognizing the Senior of the Month for March 2018. And that Senior of the Month is Hazel Hassenbay. Hazel, welcome. How are you? And congratulations on being selected our Senior of the Month Thank for March. You. Thank you. I appreciate it. We have a few questions that we would like to go over with you okay. um, to help our Montclair residents get to know you better. All right. How old are you? I am 94 years old. God bless you. And where were you born? Pennsylvania. How old were you when you came to Montclair, Hazel? I came to Montclair. I came here in 1980. Well, I never figured it out. <laughs> 1980? 1980. Okay. Were you young or a teenager or you were school age? I was grown. I had been to Montclair uh, earlier than that because my brother lived here. And he lived on Bloomfield Avenue. So you'd been visiting your brother? Since 1947, off and on. I made trips. And then I married a man in Patterson. So that brought me closer to uh, new to to, to being in Montclair to being in Montclair, and uh, after that, I decided uh, to move here, and I bought a house in 1982, and that's where I've been ever since. So you've been living in Montclair since '82. Yes. Okay, and um, you were retired, of course. Yes, I'm retired. I was a uh, from? I retired from Preckness Hospital in Wayne, and I'm a practical nurse. Okay. So tell me about a little bit about your nursing career. Well, I started out uh, in Pittsburgh, and I went to school there. And then after I got married, I came to Patterson, and I didn't work for a while and because I had a daughter in 1954 and I didn't want to work while she was being brought up because my husband was in the Air Force he was a meteorologist and uh, I didn't want to interfere with his work or anything so I stayed home and I took care of her and, and we moved to we were sent to um, Long Island to the Air Force Base there, and when the base closed, I came back to Patterson, New Jersey, and I stayed in Patterson until the 80s, and I came to Montclair. And then you came to Montclair. Yes. Um, what are you currently involved in, or what have you been involved in, in Montclair? I understand that you're an avid bowler, so you want to tell me a little bit about that? Well, when I started, when I start, first started bowling, uh, my husband said, well, I'm going to put you into bowling. I said, I don't know how to bowl because when we were kids, we couldn't afford it in Pittsburgh. And so we would run down there and just watch the bowlers. And uh, sometimes the people would say, oh, would you like to roll a ball? And we'd say, yes, and we would do it. But it wasn't with the big balls that we have now. It was three little balls you had to throw. So anyway, after I left Pittsburgh, I wasn't involved in bowling for a while. And my husband says, you're going to bowl. And he bought me a bowling ball. And he started trying to teach me to do a, a hook ball. <laughs> and it was hooking in the gutter. <laughs> but after that, uh, after he, he went overseas. And when he went overseas, then I went into uh taking my daughter to bowling, and I and the other kids was there, and they decided that they wanted to bowl too, so I had myself a little group. Every Saturday, I had a station wagon full of children, and we went to bowling, and in fact, one of the boys has bowled two 300s, so that was great. You mean one of the One of the boys that I was teaching. That you coached. Yes. Bowled two, two perfect, games. perfect games. Yes. 
He gave his first, he put his first ring on his father when he died, and he's wearing the other ring himself. Wow. So every That's once impressive. in a while I catch, he, he catches up with me, but I haven't heard from him lately. So you did, you volunteered as a coach for young bowlers yes, for a number I, of years. Yes, I, I coached the children in, uh, in Patterson. And they also belonged to the, uh, when they had the youth games, and they went to different states. I coached them. I traveled with them. Wow. And when I moved to, when I moved to Montclair, they said, oh, you can't take the, to do the kids from Patterson and live somewhere else. We'll have to get somebody else. So there was my job. So <laughs> I didn't have them. those kids. So I started uh, coaching. coaching the children at uh, at uh, was it Bell Clear Lanes? It had to be Bell Clear. No. Was yeah, it? I guess it had to be Bell Clear. Okay. Which and, is now uh, closed. Oh yes, it's closed right? now. Okay. And uh, I wasn't. To pay nothing for it. You know, everybody say, well, did you get paid? No. No, you were a volunteer. That, that I was a volunteer, and that's what that's I was wonderful. doing. Okay, Hazel, um, what are what do you feel are most some of the most important lessons that you've learned throughout your life? The most important, the important lessons is to treat others as you wish others to treat you. And don't go out of your way to try to be the big boss all the time. Get along with them. That's the best I can do. <laughs> well, that's, that's a lesson that a lot of people should live by. So, um, okay, as far as your plans for the future uh, in Montclair, do you plan to continue living here? Yes, I do. I bought my house and I'm going to live in it. And you're going to continue to bowl? I'm going to continue to bowl as long as I can. Right now, I'm, I, I talked today, this morning, to get on a team for a tournament that's coming up in March. And I finally got on one. Well, as we can see, Hazel has already bowled her games for today. And we were able to get her here to talk to us today. And Hazel, thank you so very much for taking the time to get to get to know you better here as one of Montclair's top bowlers, one of Montclair's older bowlers. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for inviting me. I enjoyed this.